question is, uh, how important is it who you associate with? Well, that's a good question, because association then means who you exchange what with. So, you know, energies, who do you exchange what kind of energy with? Or what kind of karma with? See? Binding conditions. See? And that's part of the problem for many, let's say, uh, seeker beings, you know, seekers. Mm. They want to get free, they want enlightenment, but they don't know that their associations are what bind them to unenlightenment. <clears throat> they, they personalize everything. They egotize everything. And while they're enjoying so much, let's say, stimulation from peeps and their trips, they're binding themselves to that. So, so there's, no, there's no relief from that. And so when you get to, to the path itself, then you have to understand your commitment to enlightenment is to undo bondage suffering. The suffering of bondage. And it's not easy, it's not good news for a lot of people. And that's why you're asked to just sit. You sit in peace. And in the process of sitting, you're relaxing yourself from your so-called demons. You have to put them to rest. And in the process of relaxing yourself, yeah, you dissolve ego. And those are moments of less ego and being controlled by the ego. And that implies less suffering. See, the karmas of time, space, energy, matter, mind, image. 